Hey, what's going on guys? Rich doing a video here for you. Got a old school Craftsman uh, six and a half horsepower Tecumseh powered lawnmower, which is self-propelled. And I uh, got this thing at a garage sale used. And the problem is can't get it running. Um, can't get it to stay running. I put a new carburetor on, put a new spark plug, cleaned out the fuel tank, put brand new gas in there. Uh, did an oil change on it and it won't stay running it, it'll run for about five minutes and then keep cutting out and putting out so last thing we could do i'm going to change out the uh, starter the ignition coil and got a brand new one here was able to find an original tecumseh part which is kind of hard to do because they haven't made tecumseh for a while but anyway uh this has an electric start so you got to take this piece off right here and just have your trusty business card that's really all you need so get started basically the only things you want to do is just uh, take this piece off here. And I'm not a pro guy, so I believe this is the uh, starter for the electric start. Put that to the side for a second. Um, the only other thing is you got two screws right here, which are Torx. Uh, they are a T15. Yeah, T15. And this is basically all you got to do. See how clean it was underneath? <laughs> Over the years, it just got all rusted. I wish they would make these things out of parts that wouldn't rust, you know, cost and everything else. So. Makes it fun for us to tinker with it when these things break. All right, so what I'm gonna do is, these are pretty clean. I'm actually gonna put some Loctite on these just so this thing doesn't move around. So here's the old one. It's magnetized, it's hitting this magnet here. So I'm just gonna pop this off. Okay, this is the ground. This is what shuts it off, I believe, when you let go of the lever. It just grounds it out. So let me grab some Loctite, and then I'm going to put the new one on. All right, guys, so I got my 243 Loctite. Uh, you could also use, like, 242. Uh, this is nice in case there's any kind of uh, oil or anything on the threads, but a couple drops. I already shook it up before because I was just using it, so it's already shaken, in case you're wondering. And... At this point, all we got to do is hook up the ground, just right here. This goes on the bottom. Slide that on. I pinched that too, just so you know. Um, I took a pair of needle nose pliers and I just pinched these guys the other day just to tighten them so it makes a better connection. I'm gonna slide that baby on there and there we go. Now, this is going to grab because it's magnetized, obviously. So just take your two bolts. Pop those in. I could turn this just to get it out of the way. It's okay. Okay, so I'm tightening that down almost all the way. It's just a little bit loose. There we go. A little bit of play. Get this one down. A little bit of play. All right, I put the handle down so that the brake is loose. Basically what you want to do is, once you get that almost hand tightened, you want to take a business card and just slip that in between these two pieces right here. Okay. So we got that down. Tighten that a little bit. Okay, now don't go crazy with this, guys. Tighten it, but don't strip it. Don't over-tighten it. Again, I put Loctite in there. Again, get this one down a little bit more. That's it. Okay. So as long as it spins freely with the business card in there, that's it. That's set. So now we're good. All right, so once that's done, if you do have this, what you want to do is just take this wire, make sure it's not pinched, put your electric starter coil back on, 
and just get that on there. Okay. All right, guys, so we're good to go. This is all put back together. At this point, all you got to do is just pop your spark plug back on your uh, your boot. And you should be good to go. All right, guys, that's how you install a starter coil. Thanks again for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.